Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com, and today we're going to be talking about some of the features of Evernote for Mac, hasn't quite made its way to Evernote for Windows yet, that will allow you to mark up a PDF, yes, that's been here for a while, but you can also, from within Evernote, rotate pages in a PDF, and even create this nice summary of all the markups that you've done automatically. It's pretty cool. So we have this PDF here, it's an IKEA manual, and we want to mark it up using Evernote, so we can either click this button here, which will allow us to put us in markup mode, or we can right click on the PDF and we can either mark up this PDF, or if you don't want to uh, mess up your original, you can mark up a copy of the PDF. But we'll just click the regular old markup button here. And you can see we put us in this nice mode where we can use the controls, which used to be in a application called Sketch, but is now built in. And the first thing we can do now, which is fairly new, is you can see we've got our four pages here. And this page is the wrong orientation. We want to rotate it. So what we can do is right click on it and we want to rotate the page counterclockwise. And there we go. It's nicely rotated the right way. So you can do that within Evernote. You don't need to use some sort of image editing application. And let's say we want to do some markups here now. This you've been able to do for a while, like I said. So let's say we want to draw an arrow just to remind us not to do that, whatever it is they're talking about in IKEA speak. And let's say on this page, we want to make a note here. And we'll draw this little icon here, move it over. And let's say we want to put a note here with text. Don't burn your fingers. So there you go. We've done a few markups. You get the idea. But down here, you can see there's a new checkbox that says include PDF summary. And I'm going to check that. And then we'll exit out of here to save it. And now we're looking at our note. And you can see before the PDF attachment, it's created this nice summary telling us that we've got three annotation on two pages. It shows us a highlight of those annotations. And then we've got the regular old PDF as before. And it even shows you a summary. We've got one arrow, one text, and one alert button. So that's how to mark up, rotate, and summarize annotations in Evernote for Mac. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com.